I, I want to start off by contract. Let, let, yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll start again, right? So the learning is collaborative learning with other participants on the course. So you get some input, you get some stimulated some stimulating ideas to work with and then in the breakout session you are exploring that with other people so you're learning from them and their perspectives as much as you're learning from the input session it's not a two-way kind of conversation it's a multiple way kind of conversation there is um there is true um sharing and true exchange of point of view different experiences, different uh, opinions, different perspectives come out when there is a dialogue rather than one person speaking and an audience just getting that passive uh, feedback. The classic Swedish fika. And if you don't know what that is, it's about uh, sharing stuff over a cup of coffee uh, once or twice a day. Uh, it could be just 15 minutes, but it's about sharing stuff, talking about anything. It's like an after work, but um, it's, it's every day and it's, it's at work. And this kind of reminds me of that because there's no uh, don't there's no results you need to achieve. There's no you know demand for any any kind of you know don't have to agree upon stuff and you know so it's kind of a fika and obvious obviously with a pandemic now there's no fikas anymore which is a disaster. So this is a really good way of enacting it. EQ is that virtual water cooler conversation uh, because there's an exchange of ideas. It makes you energized, uh, recharged, just like the way you would have a water cooler conversation back at work. I have described it as PT, a PT session for the mind. And that was one of the best parts of university was the idea of, of tossing these ideas around and going in different angles and hearing different other people's perspectives. And to me, it's just like that. It's, it's, it's a virtual tavern. A bit like the learning that you get at a great dinner party with interesting people so if you imagine that one of the one of the classic questions that you get asked is if you could create have a dinner party with the great people uh, of history who would you invite because you would invite them because you would want to have meaningful conversations with them and learn from them it's a bit like that um you you end up learning so much from so many different people from so who are so interesting and come from so many different perspectives and different heritages and backgrounds and all have something valuable to say about the subject under discussion even after session ends uh, you are left thinking more about the topic uh, it, it literally invokes more and more thoughts and and, uh, and then you tend to uh, understand different, again, more dimensions to wellness and more dimensions to how things can be rather than how they should be. The kind of people that come in to, to present a certain topic, it's out of this world, people. I mean, I've met some really cool thinkers in uh, in. EQF. It's a bit like, you know, dipping your toes into the icy water and then deciding to go in. And afterwards, it always feels great. So there's something within, within a dialogic session that is stickier than, than standard learning. Um, part of that is, is the conversation. Part of it is the interruptions. Part of it is um, the, the pace of the, the, the conversation um and the interactions and, and the interdependent learning that's going on so there's something stickier about it that, 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 that most learning experiences i've been part of don't have we have been talking about physically physical distancing i think you've really enabled all of us to build our social interaction muscles and the virtual world has opened up a huge new uh, platform for us probably getting close to as good as um, being there in person, but of course you're able to do it remotely. If anything, this has given me a way of seeing the power of conversation being used for development that uh, I would have thought was best done in a face-to-face in -face environment. And this has really reassured me that we can do hard thinking in a virtual environment.